Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products and Focus. So what we've seen right across the world's financial markets is a little bit of a retreat uh, following some, uh, some decent gains we, we saw on the run up to that really strong non-farm payrolls figure. And now the short term kind of negativity is, is coming in, which is probably going to be a, a kind of a retracement down to a specific support level before the, kind of the market turns itself potentially back around as the strength of the US economy uh, acts as a net positive across most other world markets. The big issue, I guess, is the US dollar and the fact that so much debt across the world is uh, in dollars relative to the local currencies. And with a stronger dollar, it just means that that, that debt pile is just increasing relative to the local currencies as well. So um, borrowing money is going to get more expensive. Uh, and that obviously can have a big impact on uh, future growth as well. So there's certainly concerns out there. And looking at the uh, the US 30, you are just about to get a negative across the MACD. You got sell signal on the RSI and the slow stochastic is just about to drop below the 80% level with a horrible uh, bearish engulfing pattern candlestick. But you do have 17,747 being the potential support. So that's currently where we sit with the US 30. Jumping on to the UK 100. As you can see, the support level is upwards trending. The support level is still in play right now. Still feels a little bit like a head and shoulders formation. Any break of this neckline, normally you would take the distance from the top of the, the neck down to the, to the neck break line, and you'd apply that to the break to the breakout. So, if if this is a classical head and shoulders formation, uh, and we do start to see the acceleration to the downside, if we break below 6300. Um, you, you could be looking at around about a level from a purely technical analysis measurement perspective, uh, 6200, which would also coincide with the 55 period SMA, should the downside uh, momentum continue. Obviously, looking at this just now, you do have um, a lot of the technicals are kind of more so neutral just now. Obviously, sloping down was quite negative, but it's the primary support resistance factors that you want to take into consideration. And uh, right now, we're slap bang on the line there. Depends where you think uh, where commodities and oil is going. And right now, there might be a bit of a short term uh, bounce because of profit taking. I can see already like so the mining stocks are up again this morning but uh, it depends on your view. If you think that uh, commodity prices are going to remain under, under pressure then the UK 100 looks potentially um, vulnerable. So looking at Japan 225 this is more a dollar yen move and we actually are quite far off the highs of today's session already. You can see it's already trading a, a, a lot lower but 20,087 is the next potential resistance. We're in the middle of two ranges. We're quite a good distance away from the next potential support back down at 19,104. Well, that's currently where we stand in that market. So then having a look at dollar yen, fantastic day uh, on Friday. We didn't really follow through with a huge, uh, a huge amount uh, there yesterday. Uh, but it does give you a bit of an idea of where we stand today. So we're currently at 123.31. With 124.42 being the next potential uh, resistance, it certainly had a, a fantastic session so far. So moving on to crude oil West Texas, and uh, it really does give you a bit of an idea about where, where we are right now. We're in about 44.37. Um, so a little bit away from potential resistance, around about 45, 85. Um, still on the bottom end of that oscillation level. Not a huge amount to talk about with West Texas crude at the moment. You do have crude oil inventories tomorrow, uh, which could have an interesting impact. So as you can see, gold uh, is around about uh, $1,089, so about $10 away. Uh, from uh, the potential resistance at 1098, longer term potential support is at 1072. Um, I guess you're always going to struggle a little bit with gold when you've got potentially higher interest rates coming. So, this is very, very negative from what we've seen. We had this, this price here has collapsed, and the more macro data comes out, the more gold will probably be affected. But uh, historically, 1072 is such a strategic level for gold because it's one of the lowest points it's been for quite some time. If we even go further back, if I change this onto a weekly time frame, uh, it maybe gives you an idea as to you know, where, where we are just now and where we could go in the future. So um, we are obviously in the middle of a downtrend on the yellow metal right now. And from a weekly chart perspective, we do have a technical breakout, uh, breaking below. If we break below uh, 1072, you have to go back here and look at the tips of these candles. So you'd be looking around about uh, 1043 would be the next potential support. You would take the tip of this. Uh, in fact, I'm going to add that on there 
just in case we do get a little bit more negative momentum uh, coming in the future. Around about here, I can go back and, and put that back uh, a little bit more uh, effectively later. And then you just continue to look along the chart for another specific price point. And you know, there isn't another really strong one for quite some time. You would even look at these, these previous tips of these candles right here. That was a previous resistance that was broken. So you could have a, a couple of a couple of levels there that could be significant. So I'm just going to jump back onto my onto my dailies there for a second, uh, and I think I can probably just get rid of this uh, this this trend line at some other point. Uh, and that's currently where we are. So we do have a couple of extra levels of potential support. We're in about one at 1,045 and then 1,031. Uh, but that's where we are with the yellow metal. So finishing up with uh, Euro dollar and GBP USD. So Euro dollars had a, a slight retracement back up to 107.86. Push right back down again. 105, 1.0524 uh, is still a longer term potential support. Uh, retracement back up to here, then moving back down is pretty standard technical analysis uh, movement, uh, especially if you think that 1.07 is going to hold. Having a look at cable, this feels like um, just the, that the short sellers are taking a little bit of profit more so than unbelievable sterling strength. I think the US dollar is just taking a little bit of a breather at the moment, having had such a, a, a decent run falling on from the FOMC. I just can't really imagine the US dollar strength completely eroding now, um, that the momentum has got a good chance of building back up again. Uh, so one spot, 51.85 is a potential um, broken support now expected to act as resistance. Uh, if we do get any sort of retracement back up to here, this is a, an important strategic level. But it depends on how the macro data comes out of the US. If that suddenly starts to weaken, then okay, you do have an argument. If the sterling uh, data comes in a lot stronger than expected, then then you have an argument. Um, but and, and the failure of, failure of that, I think the overarching theme of the higher interest rates in the US are going to be a major driver of directional moves in the future. So if we have a look at what uh, economic data we've actually got coming out today, you can see we've already uh, had some of our Chinese data come out a little bit worse than expected. So that's more calls for Chinese stimulus. Not much else to really talk about for today. Uh, Wednesday gives you employment claims in the UK. Not really that exciting, if I'm completely honest. And then Thursday, you do have uh, CPI from Germany. You've got industrial production employment data. And actually, interestingly, the crude oil inventories aren't coming out on Wednesday, as I discussed before, but they're apparently coming out there on Thursday instead. Usually it's always a Wednesday, but there is a, there is a period of time where they're coming out on the Thursdays for a short period. It'll jump back to Wednesday at some point soon. Uh, but Thursday seems to have some interesting date releases, so that should make things a little bit more exciting. So as ever, guys, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.